Hi, welcome to Genie in a Bottle. Today, I have another mukbang, or we're going to sit here and break some bread. How my blessed baby's doing? I hope all is well, even if it's not all is well. Okay, well, we're going to start. I know it looked a little cloudier today. Seemed like it's so much light. I mean, not enough light, but it seemed like it's okay right now, but, um, I look like I'm a little too close up, but we're going to start off with prayer, and then we're going to go from there. Let me move this sign over, my little drinks and stuff I got here. Let me close this up. Let's close it up. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the nourishment that I'm about to receive in my body. Lord Jesus, I pray for the people that's getting ready to eat with me, Lord Jesus, let it bring nourishment to their body. Lord Jesus, I pray for each and everybody that's on this YouTube today, Lord Jesus. Whatever they need, Lord Jesus, I ask that you bless them, Lord Jesus. Father God, I ask that people that don't have as less fortunate, Lord Jesus, give them what they need, Lord Jesus. Show a supernatural blessing to them on this day. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Okay, so... It looked like a lot of light. It looked foggy. But um, look what I got today. I know it's late. But, um, oh, this is just too much. This light. It's just a bit much, y'all. Okay. Oh, boy, I don't like this, you guys. I don't like this. I do not like all that light. So I'm going to have to do something about this. This is a bit much. Gotta, yeah, pray for me that I'm able to go on and get me some some more camera stuff so I can, so this stuff can look, you know, better. Do a little better than what it's doing now. Well, anyway, let me show y'all what I got. I got the Philly steak and cheese. Look at that. I got extra onions on that. Here, y'all take a bite. Mm, look at that. Got that, and then I have some fries, and let me get my napkins over here. Got some napkins, put it over there, and then I got some steak sauce to put in it on this, on the steak, the Philly steak and cheese. This is my first time having this one. Okay, put a little bit of that on there, and... Yeah, I know I'm put some of my abdobo. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Put a little bit of this on here. Yum, yum. Yummy. Oh, this is, wait a minute. This is just too much. I don't want the whole video just to be all messed up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, I like that because I think about, I dream of Jeannie in the bottle. I said, when I was out yesterday with my uh, sisters from church, they said my name. But it's okay, because I think I told all you guys my name, too. Um, Jeannie is my middle name, but my first name is Sunita. It's different. I was named after my grandmother. Okay. Maybe it's too much light on me, but... Well, I'm trying to get another light now, but I ain't going to waste a whole video... And worrying about this and that. And then I got some of this scotch bonnet. May put a little of that on it. I like to try different stuff. Y'all know how I like to just mix mix stuff up. Then I have this Gatorade. This is a... Uh, what kind of flavor this is? You know what? I can't even see the flavor in here. Uh, Maybe it's covered up, but this kind. Sorry about that, y'all. I got to get out of this light. And see, it's dark when I'm trying to do this video. And I got a little ketchup here. So, I'm going to start eating this and take a bite. Mm-hmm.
This is good. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't gonna mess with them fries too much. I know I had this for tomorrow too because I know I ain't gonna eat all this. But this yum yum good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So what do you guys have for dinner tonight? I know y'all didn't already probably had dinner by now, but I'm coming to bring y'all a little snack. You know, I always come to break bread with you guys. Um, I want to welcome everybody that's new to my channel uh, to get let you know, get to know a little bit about me. My channel is pretty much a word of encouragement. I come out here, break bad bread, come out here, eat a little. It's not mukbangs. You might hear the titles, see the title say mukbang, but um, it's eating food, you know, just breaking bread. And uh, I enjoy watching mukbangs, and uh, I enjoy watching a lot of videos, and you guys' videos, and, you know, the makeup, and a lot of things you youngins can teach me, and um, help me along the way with my channel, too, as well. So, uh, I want to talk, let me get another bite, first of all. That's how I'm going to put up here so that I can see it. That's good. You know what else I got? This is so good. Move this out the way. This is good. I'm still trying to see the flavor. Well, it tastes like strawberry, but... Okay, that's what it is. Strawberry kiwi. All the way down at the bottom. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't want to be talking with food in my mouth all the time. Put a little of this on there. Oh. Well, let's try just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not that hot, y'all. So, because I can't do real hot. Like I said, I would try <clears throat> to do some of the different challenges with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, food getting all in my throat, which I said I would do. I would do, you know, I'll try to taste and stuff. This one can't do massive food and all of that. Well, let's get off of that topic. And um, I told you I bring a lot to the table, and there's a lot in the bottle. I go from one topic to another one. Just stay with me. Okay, well, anyway, I wanted to just talk about, you know, uh, dieting and how people encourage you and, you know, the struggles that we have every day, you know, us women as our weight, you know, and our health and uh, a lot of other things, uh, us as women that we try to do. To keep ourselves together and keep ourselves looking nice and keep ourselves, you know, just in good health. Um, I was looking at uh, Prissy P. Uh, she started, you know, her weight, you know, lost journey and eating healthy and, you know, just watching her and her husband, you know, do exercise. He supporting her. As she do her walking and, you know, doing her exercise and the things what she do to make herself healthier. 
and where well, she's a beautiful person. I love Pressy P. I think that's one of the first videos that had me like, you know, just cracking up laughing when she was doing that. Uh, it was like a pepper. It was like a gummy pepper. Yeah, I probably know what pepper it is. It was like red, I believe, green. I think it was orange, but it was hot. And uh, she, her boyfriend was recording her, I believe. But it was so funny. I think that video went viral. And, um, you know, I just, you know, love to see positive. Especially when your, um, your husband, you know, is supporting you or your significant other is supporting you. I think that motivates you and helps you more. As long as it's coming from a good place and they're not saying anything putting pressure on you, saying you need to lose weight and, you know, and things like that. Because I know being out here, a lot of people could put pressure on a person and say, you know, bad things. But that's why I say to people all the time, when you come out here, make sure your mind is right, your mindset is right. And you go, you come in here on this thing, on your channel with an open mind. You know, even pray before you come out here. Because some of the things you think that you can handle, you might not be able to handle. And that it be distraction for you, that it be on your mind. And that's a hindrance for you to go on. But, um, I, well, back to the weight thing. Um, with her, like I said, that encouraged me. And um, I'm a person that's been on the diet long as I can remember because... That's, that was one of my issues that I struggled with is, you know, my weight as a young girl. I was always the chubby one, and I always wanted to be smaller. You know, like my friend, it was like me, small, medium, and large, and I was the large one. So all my life, you know, starting maybe from 18, I always called myself, you know, being on some type of diet, and I would always lose, um, like, 75 pounds, 72 pounds, and I would lose it, but I would have a problem with uh, gaining the weight back, and I always had a struggle with it, so my kids know all my life, you know, I always drunk diet soda, and so they would drink diet soda now, and it won't be a problem with them, like, oh, that's nasty, sunshine divine to tell y'all. My um, daughter that y'all see on here sometime, um, she can drink diet too, but um, she drink regular soda, but diet soda wouldn't bother her to drink it. So um, that's something that us as women, we, you know, it's something that we, sh oh, I hope this thing is still going. That's something that we really struggle with as far as our weight, you know. And uh, we got to make sure that we're doing stuff to please ourselves, and not trying to pl please, you know, oh, twist it up again, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, excuse me, and not trying to uh, please somebody else, you know, do it for yourself, you know, for yourself, and uh, be, you know, healthy, because when we're getting older, you know, you do it for your health, not only for your weight. You know, everybody want to have that knockout body and that knockout uh, shape, you know. Especially when you're young coming up, uh, you know, you want to keep yourself together. Even at my age, and I'm in my 50s, and um, I watch what I eat. And um, not just for my husband or just for um, anybody, you know, so... They won't pick at me. It's just a thing that um, always stuck with me as a child. That how I felt better when I was more healthier. My weight was down, and the clothes as much um, you know as much cheaper and stuff. But it's just a whole lot you know that um, women's deal with far as they weight. But you have to accept. Yes, you know we have to accept ourselves for who we are, you know, I had, you know, I, I believe, you know, my weight was up way up in the 200s, you know, before, and, and um, I always loved it. me, I never had a low self-esteem about myself, I never liked it, 
when I was, like, I was the biggest one, so maybe it was a low self-esteem as when I was coming up with my friends and um, things like that, but um, I learned how to deal with it, I learned how to accept me, and I learned to love me for me and just who I am and know that God loved me in spite of it all. And so I seen another one, Faith Squad, you know, I seen her on here, shout out to you, mm, love her. From what even I just seen, she's a very good, encouraging person, and and I just love that. And she's doing, you know the, the you know the weight exercising thing, you know eating healthier, you know doing what they got to do. Cause I'm right there with y'all. But rather y'all see this stuff like this, I bring stuff to the table. But I'm on the diet. Mm. Mm mm mm. But y'all encouraging me to do the exercise part. I can go without the food and fast and stuff like that. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this stuff hot. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's good. That's real good, y'all. I mean. But I can go without the food like that. I can fast and do things like that. But the exercising part is where I need to do like you guys are doing. Doing the exercising. <clears throat> and um, I got to get in with that more exercising. Like when I'm in Florida, my daughter... She's always exercised. She goes to the gym. And see, and I think <clears throat> when we get older, you should really exercise more. And I have a problem with that, and I'm going to be honest. And I know exactly... But everybody, oh, excuse me, I know exactly what everybody be seeing when they are talking about fire struggling, you know, with the weight. I struggle with that too, but I, I try to keep myself down. Like I said, right now I was telling my daughter and I was telling my mom that I gained like 25 pounds and I need to get them 25 pounds down and this I would say that for medical reasons too and that's because who this thing this video I say that because um I had a lot of hernia surgeries and um when you gain weight it's like push it back on out so you know I don't need to go through no more surgery God bless me to go through seven by the grace of God and I'm still here you know able to tell the story so you know that's the reason why I try to you know eat more healthy and uh, I know a lot of people probably say she always I always say that I'm not eating that it's not mukbang it's just that um the reason why is I can't because my stomach is not going to allow me to do it. It's not going to allow me to do it because I already didn't gain, you know, too much weight. And I'm, I, I don't need no more surgeries. I don't need no more surgeries. And um, I don't want to, uh, you know, do any gluttony. You know, as far as me, you know, and me being in a, um, <clears throat> you know, a minister... And ministering the word of God and just, you know, that's where I'm at. Not judging nobody and how they do their videos, like I said. And only how it's gluttoning if you're getting sick behind it. And um, things like that. Because we all do too much of something, you know. You talk too much. Uh, you may be eating too much. You may be, some people may swear too much. 
you know, it's a lot of things what we have flaws in, but we, you know, we just pray to God and repent and ask God to, you know, help us in areas that we need help in. And, um, and he's the one that can do it for, for us because we can't do it ourselves. We can, we can uh, start but once we start, and then he'll uh, meet you right where you at. And see, that's the thing I like about, or that's the thing I like about, love about the Lord. He'll meet you right where you at. And you don't have to be scared to talk to him. Mm -mm. Tell people that all the time. Stay focused. Anything, stay focused. Because I'm going to tell you, my journey haven't, wasn't so easy for me coming up. Our this sister went through some things. And I'm able to sit here and support you guys now. And because it's things that I have went through in my past. Like I said, y'all listen to some of my preaching videos that I put up. Some of them I talk about myself. But um, I'm going to be um, doing a QA. and a And uh, it's really not going to be a Q&A because I'm really going to do a video just talking about me. So you guys can get to know me a little better. And so y'all can know how God can take a person from a dark place, you know, and put you in the light. And put you <clears throat> in a, a safe place, you know. So a lot of you guys, I, I you know, I understand where you're at. I like the diet thing, the weight thing, been there, you know. I'm doing that, you know, so that helps me when I see stuff like that. That helps me to be like, get back on track, get on your diet, because we have problems. We be going through, I don't know if they're still going, we be going through things in our everyday life, and um, sometimes we do it with food that makes you feel better, you know. We do it with all types of other things just to medicate, so... We don't have to fail, and we don't have to think about it. It's not always a drug or alcohol, you know. Just know that anything that you're abusing, and, you, and, and I would say like this, anything that is a habit, it's not good for you. 